If you want to be successful using any technology platform, it's important to learn the ins and outs of that program. Hey, it's Mikey at the Hair Business Blueprint, and today I'm going to go over the Shopify document email subscriber list management. I will also have a link in the description to this page so you can use it as a reference. I am guessing there are a few things in this video that you didn't know about, and if that's the case, let me know by leaving a comment with what new tip you learned. Understanding how the Shopify email list management app works is going to be crucial for your success selling hair, wigs, or really any product online. So let's go over the details. All right, I'm on the page email subscriber list management and I promise you this is not gonna be a boring video. There's a lot of gems, a lot of good nuggets in here, so stay with me. It's really important that you have a high level of understanding of all this to be really successful. Uh, so email subscriber list management, they're gonna talk about you know email to grow your business, a word of caution, only send emails to those opted in. It's actually illegal to send these types of emails to people that haven't uh, opted into your email list. Now, I don't know about people going to jail or anything crazy for adding one person, but you never know when you get that one crazy customer that's gonna blow this whole thing up. So really keep it clean, really simple, and only send emails to people that accept marketing. Uh, so we're gonna go over a few things. Here's the topics on this page. We're gonna go through it, and I'm gonna show you within Shopify what all this means. Uh, so collecting email addresses from customers, we're gonna start there. Uh, so basically the first one is in the checkout settings. So when people are checking out, there's a little box to uh, have people opt into your email. Let me go ahead and show you where that is. So if you go to settings and then you go to checkout, we're gonna scroll to the bottom here and you're gonna see email marketing. Now Shopify usually has this part checked, but what they don't usually have checked for you is the pre-select option. So if you select that and click save, what happens is when people are going through your checkout, the check button is already hit. A lot of people won't uncheck it and they're gonna go ahead and subscribe to your newsletter. So that's really, really important and a quick little trick. Uh, so that talks about it there, collecting them at checkout and how to do it. Now, collecting customer emails from your homepage, that's another way to do it. And I'm gonna show you that here. So this is Tequila Bundles, you know, just my demo site here. If you scroll to the bottom, I'm sure you've seen this before. You definitely want something a little better call to action just than just newsletter. Nobody is gonna sign up for just a newsletter, okay? So what we're gonna do is go here and you can see under, uh, if you're editing the site, you can see newsletter here, you can have newsletter, you can change this and say, get you know tips and updates. You know, you probably want something better than that, but you know, just to show you where you would edit that, so that's under the homepage editor, you go to the footer. So as people click subscribe here, they're gonna end up in the customer section of your website and you're gonna be able to email them. Okay, so that's really good. Now there's import customer lists and we can go over here and you click import customers. Now, if you're moving over from say a different Shopify or a different platform like uh, Squarespace, Big Cartel, GoDaddy, whatever, and you have a cu your own customer list, now you can import this customer list into Shopify. Okay, you can click download a sample and you're gonna wanna know what format they want you to upload this back uh, into Shopify. So if you open up that sample into Google Sheets or whatever spreadsheet documentation or document program you use, it looks like this. So you have first name, last name, email. Those are the real important ones, first name, last name, email. If you have their address information and phone number, you know that's always good to have, uh, but this is basically, you fill this out, you would save this, and then upload it back into the Shopify system. And then once you do that, all these people are gonna show up as your customers in your Shopify store. And then you can get a segmentation and everything else, which we're actually gonna talk about. 
uh, role-based email addresses. So real quick, uh, they're basically saying if you have a lot of email addresses that are info at or support at or service at, you may want to delete those because a lot of times those are just going to a customer service team at a company or somewhere that it's not someone opening it up. Right, so if it was Mikey at tequilabundles.com, then it's more likely that someone's gonna open it up, open up the email and interact with it than if it was at info at tequilabundles.com because I'm not checking the customer service emails unless we have you know an emergency or something like that. Um, so you know, most of the customer service reps they're gonna see it and they're gonna exit out and just archive it real quick and not even bother opening it. So it's not worth sending to these people if they're not gonna open it. Okay, so will my email send to people that subscribe to my email marketing list? Yes, if they if they accept marketing, yes. If they don't accept marketing, no, the emails will not go to them and you just don't wanna send them to them anyway because legally, you're really not allowed to. Okay, so the next one is, this is a good one. This is real important. This is why you're watching this video. Email a specific group of customers. So this is important that we can create a segmentation in the Shopify customers list, which will then import right over into the Shopify email marketing program. Okay, so let me show you real quick how we're gonna do that. So we're gonna go here and we have this, there's only me in here, so we're gonna just do a basic filter. Okay, so under filters, you can do all sorts of different types of uh, segmentations. So let's just say amount spent is more than, um, you know, you could do more than $100, $500, $1,000. That's how you can decide if it's a VIP customer, uh, less than um, this amount. So let's just say less than a dollar. And I'm just doing this as an example. You can basically say people that have ordered 10 times, 20 times, you can create all sorts of segmentations and I'm gonna show you how. So let's just say anyone less than a dollar because I'm less than a dollar. I'll make it less than a hundred just to make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, done. And then that is gonna have me here, right? Because I haven't spent any money on my own website. I'm gonna click save filters. And then this is gonna be the less than $100 crowd save filter i'm in that less than hundred dollar crowd and then it's going to show up here but let me show you something if you go under marketing and campaigns and let's just say i go into one of these campaigns i was playing around with uh, click on that edit activity if i wanted to send this campaign only to people that have spent under a hundred dollars guess what you now have that segmentation within your Shopify group. So you wanna be very, very strategic about how you are segmenting your customers and sending different messages uh, within this system. So that gives you a huge advantage because you don't wanna send somebody that has spent $10,000 something about like, hey, you haven't, you know, you're part of our list, you haven't placed an order with us. Like if someone spent 10 grand and got an email with that message, they're gonna be like, what the heck, I'm probably one of your best customers. Segmentation of the emails is gonna be so crucial for your success so you can send the right customer base the right email. Okay, double opt-in, you know, double opt-in can make you have a really clean list. Uh, but it's not always the best. I'm always 50-50 on the double opt-in. Uh, it really depends on who you talk to, but I can show you how to do the double opt-in. Okay, so we're gonna go to uh, settings here and under the notifications, so settings, notifications, and scroll down to the bottom here, double opt-in, so that's email subscription. So if I click this, it's basically after someone opt-ins and signs up for your newsletter, Shopify is then gonna send them another email and say, hey, this is Tequila Bundles, and we got your request to join our email newsletter. Uh, we just wanted you to confirm to make sure that this information is correct because we wanna make sure we have the right people on it. Whatever you wanted to say. That's gonna be uh, something that you choose. Like I said, it's 50-50. It will, it will make sure you have a very clean list of people, um, but not everyone's gonna double opt in because they're not gonna always check their email and you might actually lose a lot of subscribers. So me, I probably would not double opt in, but you know that's gonna be the choice is yours. I just wanted to make sure you know how to do it if possible. 
Uh, so, and it'll talk about this too, the double opt-ins here. And then if you wanna remove someone from your subscriber list, it's actually a pretty simple process. You would just basically go here and then we're gonna go over here to uh, email marketing. We're gonna hit edit status. And then I would uncheck that, click save, and basically I'm not subscribed anymore. So, you know, inside the emails that you're sending out, there's always an unsubscribe at the footer, but some people just don't know about how that works. So they might reply to your email and be like, hey, tequila bundles, um, I don't wanna be part of your email list. Can you unsubscribe me? You're gonna go on the customer list. You can copy and paste their email address to easily find them, go to email, and then just uncheck it. And that's it. So really, uh, this is a good document and we're gonna go over a few more that's in here for email marketing. And I just wanna make sure that you guys have a higher level of understanding of how each section of this email marketing system within Shopify will work for your hair brand. If you have any questions about anything I talked about in this video, please leave them in the comments below and make sure you are subscribed to the Hair Business Blueprint.